It is important to know the properties of a rectangle and a square because you're going to use them in proofs, you're going to use them in true and false, fill in the blank, multiple choice, you're going to see it all over the place. So the key facts about a rectangle is that it's an equal angular parallelogram, which is another way of saying if you have 360 degrees and four angles are congruent, then each of these angles must be 90 degrees. It's also a parallelogram, which means opposite sides are congruent and that you have two pairs of parallel sides. The diagonals of a, of a rectangle are congruent to each other, which is a trick that people use in construction if they're trying to build a rectangular room. And the diagonals will bisect each other. So these segments are going to be congruent. Now, I didn't use a different number of markings here since the diagonals are congruent. These four segments will be congruent to each other. Moving on to a square, the key things about a square is that you can name it a whole bunch of different ways. You could call it a regular quadrilateral. You could call it an uh, equiangular rhombus. But the other key things are that the diagonals are congruent. So basically a square is just putting together everything that you know about a parallelogram, about a rhombus, and a rectangle. It's just kind of smushing them all together and the square has all those properties. So the diagonals are congruent to each other. The diagonals bisect each other and are perpendicular, so I can mark these four as congruent, and they bisect the angles that they intersect. So you're going to be creating 45 degree angles when you draw in your diagonals. Now the last key thing that I want to touch on are these two statements. A square is a rhombus and a rhombus is a square. One of those things that parents basically that's the only thing they remember of geometry is being confused by these two statements. Well, the first statement is true, the second statement is not. If we examine it, the keys to a rhombus is that it's a parallelogram and it's equilateral. So equilateral means all sides are congruent. So if we look at a square, we have two pairs of parallel sides and all sides are congruent. So this one is true. A rhombus, however, is not equiangular. The rhombus does not have four angles that are all congruent, which is one of the facts about a square. So that's why this one will be false. So keep these facets in mind when you're writing proofs or answering your true and false questions.